was working at a state government agency and we had what now we refer to as a penetration tester come in and uh, wasn't what it was called back then, but we had a penetration tester come in and I was young and hungry and I begged and begged and begged if I could shadow them while they were performing this engagement and you know, they relented and let me watch and I got the bug. I totally got the bug. I saw them take over the entire state agency through a, a printer that hadn't been updated properly, a network attached printer, and then it just escalated from there. And I, I thought, oh my gosh, this is what I want to do. I want to hack all the things. I want to break all the things. And that was my kind of initial draw to security. You know, and, and this is a common theme that you find with a lot of, especially young people now, their, their gateway drug into security, as it were, is hacking. You know, they want to hack all the things. They want to break things. You know, that's, they, they like that kind of counterculture feel. They like that, the excitement of doing something that seems a bit deviant. And, you know, I was not immune to that either. My first real job, it was an ad in the Boston Globe for an electronic shepherd. That was what the ad said. Well, the electronic shepherd job was actually a, a help desk job. And I didn't want a help desk job. But they're like, oh, we have another job that's not advertised yet for like a junior PC tech, you know, run cables on jam printers, that kind of, I'm like, yeah, yeah, that, that, that. And I remember uh, my salary was $21,000 a year. I remember that. <laughs> so I can tell you no one did this for the money back then because there was no money. There was no money, you know, and I was happy to take 21 grand. I was teaching, I was doing a community sands run. Conrad happened to be doing a community sands run at the same hotel. That's what it felt like because we were the only two people there. So we were doing registration. We were passing out books. We were, you know, setting up AV. So the instructor lunchroom was, well, me and Conrad. And so we, we obviously, out of necessity, he was forced to spend a lot of time with me, whether he wanted to or not. And it worked amazingly well. Um, he had just started on a project for the DOD and you know, was looking for potential help. And that that kind of time that we spent together at Sands Calgary, we have kind of Wonder Twins power activated and never looked back. Breaking stuff is easy, fixing stuff is hard. You know, or finding broken stuff, not to downplay the difficulty of pen testing, but I find blue team much more challenging than red team. And if I'm gonna spend 30 years doing something, I wanna be challenged, I wanna do something. It's the necessary thing, it's not necessarily the sexy thing, although we were changing that, you know, we're bringing the sexy back to blue team as we've been saying for years.